Hello everybody and Holy Vision here and today I came across this comment right here uh, what really struck out to me was game pads and the racing wheel and such the peripherals I wanted to make this video to kind of cover that for anybody new coming to Linux or just you know uh, not new and they never set up a controller so I do have a video on the racing stuff either this corner or that corner wherever the card pops out and you can go check that out if you're interested in that but this video will mainly focus on these and this right here you can set this up too but that's not bluetooth the main focus will be the bluetooth controllers but I will sort of cover that in this video this controller right here you need a newer model um, from my understanding uh, the ones that they actually have Bluetooth support on uh, from what I understand the previous models that were bundled with like some of the systems that first came out um, it didn't start using the Bluetooth technology until like Xbox S and higher so make sure you have the right model Xbox 360 controller you will need one of these it's pretty much get a generic one or the official Microsoft one if you can still find it one of the first things you'll need to do is install blues blues utils and one of the graphical front ends if you want to use a GUI uh, I'm using blue man here this may vary on your distribution what the packages are called this is the arch packages um, if you're on Ubuntu or a, an Ubuntu-based distribution, you may already have all this pre-installed, but get these installed, and let's go to the next step. Once you have Blues and Blues Utils installed, we need to actually start the Bluetooth service. So, sudo systemctl enable Bluetooth. Push that in and type in your password so the kernel module can load at the beginning. Um, you may not have to do this on Ubuntu if it's already pre-installed or whatever distribution you're on. Next, we need to make sure the Bluetooth adapter actually powers on after you reboot the system and everything. So we need to sudo your preferred text editor etc bluetooth main.conf once you've opened the file with your preferred text editor go down to auto enable find that in the file probably at the bottom of the file it will be commented out uncommented and make sure it says auto enabled equals true save the file and close that out open up blue man or whatever gui you are using and go to adapters preference and change it to something like always visible or temporarily visible search turn on your controller and do the sync process Find it in the list here, hit the setup button, and just go through the process here. If you're having problems connecting your Xbox One controller, you may need to actually disable Bluetooth ERTM. This could cause some issues with other Bluetooth devices, but this is really the only way to work around it. So you'll do sudo, your preferred text editor, slash etc slash modprobe dot d slash disable underscore bluetooth underscore ertm dot conf once you open that you'll need to put in options bluetooth 
disable underscore ERTM equals one and save the file. Once you've saved the file, do a quick sudo reboot and try to pair your controller afterwards. Everything went well. Congratulations, your device successfully added. Close. Press the press button. And there you have it. Your controller is paired and you should be able to game on it, but you may want to rename the device if you don't like the names, especially on the DS4 and DS3 controllers. It will probably just show up as a generic like name. So just right click, rename device and type in what you want. It's very useful to do that too when you have multiple devices. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit your monitor real hard on that bell button to crack it. And we'll be uh, seeing you in the next video. This is Unholy Vision signing out.